the three bucket approach to retirement planning. I'm going to share with you an article that a subscriber sent to me from, uh, this is the retirementmanifesto.com, how to build a retirement paycheck. Uh, I mean, I, the three bucket approach I used to love. I, I mean, I like it a lot. It's, uh, I, it's, it's what I started doing when I found out about the bucket repro approach and how simple it is on a spreadsheet. Uh, my friend Rich and I used to do these seminars all up and down the East Coast, though, and we'd draw it on the, the whiteboard where Miss Bet Betsy is there, who's sniffing my my hair. Smells good, doesn't it, Betsy? Yeah, Vox, or V, what's not Vox, VO5, whatever that is. I don't even know what kind of shampoo I use. Anyway, so it's three buckets. You have one to three years of cash, three to five, or three to seven years of bonds, and the rest in stocks. And basically, there's this kind of like you're pulling out your cash, when your stocks grow, you take it, dump it over here. You draw the income from the bonds, put it in your cash. You're pulling out your cash. It's almost like you're, uh, well, taking Miss Betsy there. You're milking Miss Betsy. You're going like this. Take the income from the bonds, dump it back in here, taking any stocks growth from the cash. Uh, put it over here. Just, you know, zoop, 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 zoop. And it's, uh, it worked like a charm on paper, except it's just complex. I remember we do these seminars and you see the people's eyes glaze over and say, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And uh, it's just, it, it never worked. I mean, just people, there's too much. And that's why I developed the barbell approach, cash and CDs and stocks. That's it, to keep it simple. People get that. Uh, but let's dive into this. I think it's pretty interesting nonetheless uh, what our man here says, uh, Fritz at the retirementmanifesto.com. How to build a uh, retirement paycheck from your investments. Uh, so we'll talk about this. Uh, and I can't remember who sent this to me, a subscriber. But for decades, you've been diligently saving and building your nest egg to ensure you have a shot at maintaining acceptable lifestyle in retirement. Once your working years are over, the focus becomes how to generate income from the wealth you built. Or in other words, how to build a retirement paycheck. Moving from the accumulation to a withdrawal phase is one of the most significant financial changes that comes with retirement. Unfortunately, there's much less written about how to generate an income in retirement than there is about the accumulation phase. Completely agree with that. Uh, today we'll address the withdrawal phase, outlining a strategy he'll be using in his own retirement. Uh, the bucket strategy. A common approach to setting your retirement for the withdrawal phase is to establish bucket strategy. Uh, originally conceived by Harold Ivensky, uh, even though I'm several years away from retirement, I've all been working on the bucket strategy and we'll sh share the specific approach I'm using. So he's gonna talk about how this works. First, cash bucket. The cash bu bucket should be fully liquid, risk-free, and readily available. One of three years of spending requirements not covered with other income. Yep. Your goal here is not to generate a return, but to rather protect your spending requirements over the next few years. Couldn't agree with that more. Uh, to avoid sequence risk, having to sell stocks during a, town a downturn, get your bucket filled prior to the retirement date. I, I, man, my man, I don't know who Fritz is. I've never even, I'm not familiar with the retirement manifesto, but I completely agree. I, I get this question a lot. What do I do my first, uh, if I'm two years out from retirement? Start loading up your cash bucket, man. Forget investing in 401k. I mean, you're still doing the 401k, but forget investing in stocks, bonds. Just get your cash bucket. Uh, just ramp that puppy up if you have no cash. I'm just telling you right now, to transition from having income coming into it just where you have a cash portfolio is perfect. I, I agree that 100%. Uh, as a more conservative investor, I'm targeting three years of spending in bucket one. Why? Because from 1966 to 2009, it's taken the S&P 500 three years on average to return to its pre-crash high. That's been, you want sufficient cash in bucket one to ride out a bear market. I, that's great. I, no argument me from me. Uh, before retiring, ensure you have sufficient assets to cover your annual spending requirement with a safe withdrawal rate of 4% or less. He's going to be using 3%. I don't agree with that, but okay, we'll keep going down. Uh, bucket two, the income bucket. Not sure. Oh, that's uh, Fisher Investments. Man, they advertise. Look, man, if you're advertising all over the place, like Fisher, I just saw an advertise on TV. While I was watching the hockey game the other day. Look, I appreciate them advertising on NHL Network, but my goodness, dude, where's that money coming from? What's coming from the other investors? Oh, yeah. The income bucket has a goal of generating income with controlled risk. Since you'll be using the funds in this bucket to periodically refill the first bucket, you'll want to keep a focus on stability. Uh, some risk, some return. He talks about high quality fixed income assets, bonds, REITs, a smaller complement of st uh, stable dividend paying stocks, uh, JNJ, I guess that's Johnson Johnson, other high yielding securities, MLPs, BDCs, I mean, business development corporations, balanced mutual. No, 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 no. See, this is what I'm talking about. 
he considers his uh, Vanguard's Wellesley and dividend growth fund is his element of bucket too. I, I, I don't, I just don't. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. If you're very conservative, consider this advice and aim for 10 years of spending between cash and bonds. I got no problem with that. In this scenario, bucket two could represent seven to eight years of spending. Um, so for our $40,000 need, we need a reasonable target for bucket two to be somewhere between 300,000 bucks. Yeah. Uh, several times a year, quarterly, I'll look for any asset class which has performed well and sell portions of those investments to refill cash from bucket one. See, that's where it starts. No one does that. I just tell, I mean, I, I know some of you will, my engineering uh, brothers from another mother will, but most people don't. Most people just want to set it, forget it. And here's bucket three, your long-term stock. So bucket one is low risk, low return. Bucket two is some risk, some return. Bucket three is high risk stocks. And so here we got a cash bucket, one to three years of cash, cash, money market, short-term bonds, income bucket, five to eight years of uh, income and stability, high quality income production, bonds, long-term CDs, REITs, MLPs, Master Limited Partnerships, uh, stable dividend paying stocks. <laughs> what is a stable dividend paying stocks? And then finally, uh, long-term growth, junk bonds. There are no growth in bonds, commodities and stocks. I just, no reason to have junk bonds. All right. So anyway, let's keep going down. Now this is where it gets confusing. All right. So the retirement man, you can download his spreadsheet, which I think is pretty cool. By the way, you can download it there, uh, Excel spreadsheet, which is pretty cool. So he's got checking account. So here he's got, uh, how much does he got total? Does he talk about it? Uh, 42,000 bucks in bucket one, 220 in bucket two, and 730. So he's got a million bucks roughly, yeah. Uh, money you won't touch for three, for 10 years. So here he's taking 40, that's not enough, man. Three years cash equivalent, for actually 42,000 bucks. Hmm. Uh, I've added a tab in personal. Here's a screenshot from my spreadsheet, which I modified a bit, not my actual dollar amounts. I've eliminated the name of my investment holdings and adjusted the target amounts to reflect the 40,000 annual spending as an earlier example. Yeah, I don't, I don't get this. So he's got 40, you got one year of cash. Why is he saying three years equivalent? That doesn't make sense. You got 220 in uh, bonds. That's five to eight years of, of cash. That, I mean, if you need 40,000 a year in uh, eight years, that's three, well, pretty close. Uh, that, but that's not three years of cash. I don't, I don't get that. So 35, yeah, 42. And then he's got 730 in stock. So here you can see, I mean, look, you got maintaining capital and savings, checking account, money market, emergency cash. I just put in a checking account or it's or CD. I don't know. Bond fund, Vanguard fund, uh, Wellesley fund, other mutual funds, muni bonds, uh, REITs. I just, uh, no, 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 no. S and P emerging market. I see you got too much, man, too much. And now, so you got all these holdings, and now you're gonna go from point A to point B to point C. It just it's, no one. I don't want to do that, and very few people are gonna do that. But I, I like the, the was it the tenure, tenure, tenor, tenor of it. Uh, I mean, I like the idea, and I think it's great for people who are gonna be on their investments, like white on rice. But who really wants to go in there and quarterly and say, all right, Vanguard dividend funds up, you know, five thousand bucks or hell, two thousand bucks, and we move some over here, just. That bores me. But I guess if you like doing that, more power to you. I mean, if you're into this stuff, you say, look, I can look to see if my REITs are up, my municipal bonds are up, my other mutual funds. I can move it from here to here to here. Um, I can put dump in there. I can take some money from stocks if I'm way up over here. I, and if you like doing that, a three-bucket approach is great. Uh, conclusion, managing your money uh, during the withdrawal phase is significantly different than accumulation phase. Uh, if you're already in retirement, consider setting up a bucket system, especially if you've been having difficulties keeping track of your spending. Uh, start with bucket one and establish a monthly automatic transfer to your check account. I 100% agree with that. Um, all right, let's see his first in info graphic. All right, we got the bucket one cash. Bucket two is explosions. <laughs> and bucket three is beach. Yeah, I don't know about that. But anyway, let's see if we got any... Uh, don't panic in a bear market and sell your stocks. Rather, draw down the money in buckets one and two to give your stocks in three, in bucket three, a chance of recovery. I agree with that. Let's see those. Any comments on this? Uh, Mr. Groovy says, holy crap, this is awesome. Glide pass. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, uh, great breakdown how to be systematic. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, okay. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's a pretty good article. I like it. Again, I don't think I'll be following this uh, just because uh, some of these guys, like the guys at Bogleheads and whatnot, uh, here we got a cape withdrawal strategy. Oh, for the love of me. Anyway, I uh, 
Um, I like it. I'm a fan of this, and I think it's pretty cool. Must receive money says I really like the bucket strategy. It's easy to follow, and I love the infographic. Um, I just I don't think it's actually going to be easy to implement as what you think, unless you're watching this on a regular basis. But that's a pretty good article. I like it. So whoever sent this to me, mucho gracias. That means many thanks in Spanish. Donkey shorts means many thanks in German. Did you know that? Uh, Kaktala, that means how are you in Russian? Look at me, your old buddy Josh. Surprising where I'm getting all this uh, language stuff from. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks now.